How's it going guys? Today I'm actually going to introduce you to some new frogs here into the collection. So stick around and I hope you enjoy. As some of you may be aware, I've been trying to find some frogs recently, some little tiny dwarf tree frogs, uh, the little green stream frogs. Um, and finally I've kind of come across a little little group of them. I managed to pick up two a couple of months ago and uh, last night I was actually able to pick up another couple of uh, another fellow by the name of Jake Lewis. So thanks Jake, cheers for your frogs. Um, and today I'm actually going to put them into a new enclosure. So the last couple I had in the last little frog build that I did out of the Exoterra, the uh, 30 by 30 by 60 tall. Um, but seeing as I've got a couple more I just thought you know what I'm just going to give them some extra space. So what I've actually done is I've gutted my biopod, much to probably quite a few people's <laughs> disgust, um, but I just found that I was just unable to kind of actually find my frogs properly and, and make sure they were getting the right food and everything that they needed in there because quite often they were hidden behind so much vegetation that, you know, they just weren't thriving as much as I'd like. So I had the red-eyed tree frogs in there and they're now in a new enclosure as well, which um, uh, I, I think I've got it up on Facebook. If I don't, then I'll... Uh, hopefully make another post or a video about that soon. Um, and they're in there with the, the Blue Mountains and the, the Perons, so it's kind of a bit of a community tank. But for now, we're gonna put these four green stream frogs into this tank. So as you can see, it's looking a lot different to what it used to look like. Um, we've got a, a universal rock fake background in there. It's just one of the flat backgrounds that I've just siliconed into place and I've uh, filled it out with, with plants gone bioactive again so down here we've got a lot of thick thick pebbles and gravel and stuff just to act as a drainage layer in the middle I've actually got an egg crate box just to really make sure that it drains well and in the back I've actually got a, a port where I can actually drain water out of if I need to um, but hopefully the plants soak up a lot of that so we'll just have to see how it goes and play it by, by ear um, but yeah let's get to it and let's get some frogs in so another reason as to why I've changed the enclosure up is I was actually finding that these little guys were wedging themselves behind the Exoterra background. So as much as I had it all sealed up and you know hoping that they weren't going to get behind there, they did find a way. So hopefully in this enclosure they're not going to get behind it. I've siliconed right to the joins and, and through the roof and everything with this. So hopefully they won't be able to wedge themselves into it. Um, but anyway, so it took me a little while to dig my original two out, which are these little two here. Not 100% sure on the sex of those. I'd, I actually think they're both males because I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard both of them croaking it at once. And then Jake's couple out here as well. So there's a little male there. And there's a big female there. Definitely a well fed frog, that's for sure. Alright, so we're going to let these guys loose into here. Hopefully, get some footage of them before they disappear. Something else to take into consideration, these guys are all adults as well. So they're not very big frog species. <laughs> not a big frog, but they've got a big leap. There we go. All four of them are in now. So I'll see if I get lucky. And I'll try to get you a few close-ups of these little guys in their new home.
These are the little fellas looking a little bit grubby. But as you can imagine, as soon as I put them all in, they just about disappeared. This little guy just jumped up onto this, this leaf here, so. I'm gonna grab a quick tip. Well there you go guys, just a really quick video to introduce you to a new enclosure and a couple of new inhabitants. <laughs> I hope this guy just doesn't jump out while I've got the door open. Um, but I hope you really uh, like the video, make sure to stay tuned, I've actually got a couple of more animals coming which I will uh, try to do a, a video of, well, I might do a potential unboxing video, as that seems to be a bit of a trend these days. Um, but uh, if any of you guys stay tuned to Coops Reptiles and you saw the last update on my collection, then uh, there's a good chance that you might have a good inkling as to what, what is on the way. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell too if you want to stay updated with the little videos that I am putting out there. But for now, we'll see you next time.